Hi, Stitchers. Hi. We're back. We're up to oh, I leather. I think you have a piece of thread right here. You do, right here. Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> We're up to letter L. I'm on Lizzie Kate. So I'm Laura and I'm Katie and we're doing a pattern stash dive. Yes. So as I come to whips, I am flinging them across the room. Uh, I will also say Lizzie Kate was a weakness of mine. And I think mom has rescued some of the patterns yes. that I let go of. So it's, this is going to be a longer section. We might just yeah. have a whole Lizzie Kate video. You may put multiple ones in here because I have a bunch of these little ones. The first one is bless the baby which is a great one to keep around for a baby sampler. It just is so quick. And then uh, this is Oh Come Let Us Adore Him. Then I have Follow Your Heart. Do you want this one? No. Okay. Well, I actually didn't see it, but no, I'm okay. Um, friends are like angels on earth. I like that. And I got a sweet note from my friend back there. Then these are some Katie might be interested in again. Fright Night. Um, I can pass. I like that one. Okay. Hooray for the USA. Cute. Katie's already done this one, but I like it. That's where it went. Live Simply. And it even has the little flower in it. So it really is called Quick It. It was supposed to be yeah. a quick pattern. And then uh, Mary Ho Ho Ho. Look at that. Mary Ho Ho. And then my favorite time of year. One of us has already stitched this, right? I think I stitched it, but I don't know if I have that. I thought If you... it's finished for us or if I gave it away. I think it is because I'm pretty sure we even have the frame. So we're going to have to look and see. And if I've already done it, oh we'll give it away. <laughs> my other have. car is a broom. Which I've stitched. That was, I think, from my stash. Peace, love, and a cure. I love this one. I really need to get that out and stitch it. And then I have this set. Oh, no, there's only one in here. Nope, there's two. Okay, I have spring. And I have winter. I'm pretty sure I have the other two, and they're just not... Did that get turned a little? I was like, yeah, I think maybe. And then I have treat time. If you lean which... on the cord, it's going to pull it toward you. Okay. Oh. Then I have Wanted Santa O2. So from 2002. Hold on one second. It missed the bag. And I have Winter ABCs, which I love, love, love. Look at that. Two times cute. And then this is so cute. Um, I had somebody pass this stash to me. I have pumpkin fever. And it came as a kit. But it's just, um, this is just the pattern and stuff. We can fix that if you leave like a spot. I think we go can go on the back of this. Then have yourself a merry little Christmas, which I stitched as a gift. And I have to get busy and stitch it for me because... That is gorgeous. Oh, I like that one. And then I have Celebrate. Did you finish this one? No. That one's really cute. But did I finally give this one up? <laughs> then I have Come With Thankful Hearts, which I've stitched multiple times, and I keep stitching it um, that's for That's one I gave up. Not, that was my chart. But it's one that we traded back and forth, okay. and I gave up. Then I have Easter Blessings. Okay. I can't see it. You're too close. I would give it up. Okay. I'm going to pass the stash on that one. Then I have... What's up? Grabbing my hat. you got to stay out there and work, dude. I, I am working. Is that Amazon pulling up? I saw somebody like pulling up really slow. I don't know. It was a 50-50 between up here and down in the truck. I chose wrong. Is there somebody dropping off? That's empty. No. Okay, leave the door. Yeah. Okay. 
So next I have Eek Boo Hiss. I love these. So fun. And then there is Fall Fanatic, which I stitched for my sister-in-law. But have not stitched it for me yet. I have Halloween Sampler. This one's really cute. They did that a couple different ways. And then Katie has done this one. Oh my, she did a number on my pattern. This one's called Ho Ho Ho. I think that was my pattern. No. And I've stitched it. I bought all this stuff and you stitched using my stuff. Um, this is Liberty Sampler. Again, they did this with the two different ways to do that. I like that. Then this one is Love Crazy. This was Katie's. Oh, this is the one I did for Chuck. And then I have um, My Country. That's really cute. And I really like this one. Star of Wonder. What happened to that color? And then... I have Time for God. Now, I saw this one done at Heart's Desire. And they did it, instead of all of the colors, they did this in like um, a, a soft silver and gold. Really pretty. Then I have Yankee Doodle. This one's so cute. We bought the shop model. or You were going to give this one up. This is the one that I did, the Made in the USA. It was my first linen piece. And then, yeah, you bought the Yankee Doodle shop model. But I love so we those. we haven't done pop. I love those. So I need to do that. This can just go, like, in the front envelope. It's or in the, the front exact pocket. same pattern, except different yep. words. Front pocket, please. Um, then I have from Lone Elm Lane... Early Wooden Wares and Designs. So Lone Elm Lane, I have His Glory. I just think that's so pretty. That looks like a huge chart. And then this one is kitted, partially kitted with beautiful threads from my friend Claire. And um, it's Floral Reflection from Loopy Lou Designs. Look how pretty this is. And here's what's in it. All of those gorgeous things. Then I have Santa Needle Roll from Lori Birmingham. And this one I'm going to pass on. He's cute. They're just, you have to hit a point where I'm not getting all this done. <laughs> yeah. Even with my 1,500 charts that Katie's letting me have. Um, I have M Designs Celtic Heart. I bought her 1,200, oh, 1,200 of these uh, page protectors. So if I buy her one more box of them, then I think she's good. Because she has whips and stuff, too. My daughter. <laughs> Here is the chair of needle roll. <laughs> This one has a few flosses in it that um, I don't think really need to stay in here because I don't even know that they were as charted. They were just things I threw in there. So there you go. And then I love this. I've done the big sampler and I would like to do um, the needle roll on this. And I left some fabric and stuff in here. This is still M Designs. This is Reindeer Sampler and Needle Roll. And I did mine on red like that. I, I actually coffee dyed my fabric. I don't think I've seen it. It's really pretty. Oh, did you want to? It's got stuff in it. Okay. Um, then I have Rose Mosaic Needle Roll. This one I'm probably going to pass on. Okay. It's beautiful. And then this one. Oh, I died for this one. <laughs> this is Snowflake. And I think I just have to be in the mood to get this stuff out and and make sure that I am on point the whole way. You were like really into all of their word ones because you got all their trees. I too. do have a bunch of their trees. I love this one. This is Snowman Needle Roll. Have you 
Haven't you already done so that? So cute. No. It looks exactly like one of the other ones that we have. Then they have this beautiful Mani de Dona, uh, La Vie en Rose, Biscornu sewing box. This is so fabulous. Look at that. Well, that was somebody showing us their engine. Then this one is from uh, Mimi's Quilts, Twinkle Twinkle, and I'm laughing because I like this one so much that I bought it two or three times. Then I have this from um, Meredith Mark Designs. This is the Alaskan sampler and I bought this to commemorate our cruise. I love this. And that will be a cool one. Um, and then I have, this is two in here, from My Lady's Needle. I have Quaker's Rule. That was a lovely face start. I couldn't get it out of the bag. I'm like, oh, I hope I don't tear the paper. It's Quaker's Rule. And then also Acorn's Rule. These are the rulers. I love these these beautiful designs. I, I'm going to keep them for now. And I also have Bee's Rule. Katie may be interested in this one. Are you sure it's just two in here? It's really Yes, it's thick. just two. Then I have some Mirabilia's. Oh, I do like the Bee's one. I knew you would. This one is... I have to open it to see. Hey. Sorry. Mermaid of the Pearls. And I have the most glorious piece of fabric in here. I'm not normally... That would not be a me thing. I have that pattern or you saved it when I got rid of it. But this fabric... Oh no, I thought it was a And Marilyn one. dyed this special so that it would be... I mean, I saw it done on this fabric. It is so stunning. I just... I had to have it. And then I also have Winter Queen. She's gorgeous. I don't know if she and I have is gonna fit. Autumn Queen. Oh, she is. Isn't she pretty? And I have Giggles in the Snow. I I love this so much. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Got to get it. You done. can't make me give it away. You can't take it away from me. I have a whole bag of giveaways. You know, here. I'm just occasionally gonna go in and steal something out of her. She stash probably and see will too. See if she notices. Oh, you know what's funny? I know we did a needle and thread earlier. I mean, I know we, oh, yeah. we showed one earlier. So, so this is, I I think us sharing a pattern or mom stealing it after I was done with it. No, I bought one. I bought this oh, twice. Yeah. And I have mine started, and it's on a piece so of even leaves. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess I don't get to look at it. Nope. Okay, I have Monster Bubbles Wander. I love that wonky star. And I love that. I love that Christmas song, so. Then I have some Mosey and Me patterns. These are just, like, even more sweet now, right? Because Frank passed away. Mm-hmm. This is from 1998. This one is called Patchwork Heart. We also like Frank because he was on Trading Spaces. And it comes with this beautiful little button. Oh, it was a thread over it. I thought it was broken. And then I have Heart in a Spin. So they stitched it on here, but I guess you can get the button instead. Look at how pretty that is. And they did it over one and over two. And then I have a charming heart. You've stitched this. I stitched this. One of the two of us. I haven't stitched any of these. Um, then I have, this one is called, uh, this one is a really odd one. And maybe it's because it's a past the stash. I'll pull it out of here and maybe we'll be able to find it. Oh, it's called Springtime. From 2002, Mosey and Me. I think this is one that my friend Claire shared with me. Oh, this way. Okay, then I have the Big Red Monster. 
and I was just peeking inside this one and it's a pretty simple chart except that every single one of those color bands is a different stitch like I open this up I can show you one side I open this up and there are still more stitches on the other side with the, the chart but the chart is literally this big on the other side that's it and then everything else is specialty stitches. I think that I got this for you yeah. or somebody got it for you because I think I had little, little red monster and you were like, and there's a big red monster. <laughs> and so we went looking for it for the companion for you. Okay. So I told you earlier that I had some Wisteria Gates. Well, here's Moss Creek Designs Wisteria Gate. And I think these are going to be really pretty together. Uh, then I have My Big Toe, How Great Thou Art. I love this one. I just, I really like how she puts things together. So beautiful. Oh, you probably want that out of there, huh? Then the next one I have is called A Baffling Needle Roll Number 6 from Liz Navikas Designs. And I'm going to send this one along to someone else to play with. There are some gorgeous things going on with this, but darn. There are eyelet bands in between. Look at the pattern part for it. Okay, I have loved this one for a long time. This is from the Needle Love Company. This can just go in, huh? And this one is called the Herb Garden. You filled this one really fast. Look at this. I really like that. I think that's going to be fabric choice that will make that stand out you know okay then i have from needle made designs katie knocked something off i have honey bunny sewing roll and accessories i really like this rabbit i like rabbits but i like them to be more realistic looking i don't know that i'll do this well, that's a kind of a black and white picture, huh? Yeah. Uh, then... Not a very good pattern. Like, okay. Yeah, I know, I know. Then... I can't get it. <laughs> then I have Hearts of Iron from Needlework Designs by CJ. Connie Jones. And... Hearts of Iron. Look at that. One of the round robins that I sent around had all sorts of hearts and things, and so I included some extra charts in case people wanted to use them in there. Then I have this cool one, which I actually did part of um, for a an exchange. This is Needlework Press, and it's called... Um, May the hinges of friendship never rust. Okay, I did this um, from, I just did this part. So from this band down, I did that. Oh, we have another one. Katie's having to get another one going. She said I filled it fast. We'll put that up there. Oh, look, then I have an N, Nora Corbett. And this one I did get at the garage sale at the shop. And I was so amazed, I just snatched this up. This is Nora Corbett's um, Comet. I, and I think I'm going to keep hold of this and see how I get through this. But, you guys, I paid $2 for this. Which... That alone would be great. But look what it came with. All of the beads and treasures. And I paid two dollars. Was just amazing. And then I have several things here from Nostalgic Needle. These are designs by Sharon Cohen. And Sharon was lovely. I um, actually got to message back and forth with her when I was looking for some things. And um, she sent me, she autographed my pattern. 
she sent me a pretty little card to go. This is from Queen's Sweet Bag. Look at that. That's some of the detail from it. The one that I have here is the ornament collection. These are some that I would love to do. Okay, and just kind of tuck this in with it because it's so pretty. Okay. And then I also have from her I can't get a hold of it. I really love this one. This is the Irish Sampler Pin Cushion. That is beautiful. I need to stitch that. Along with how many other things? Oh, that needs to be on my immediate radar, as Laura and Brenda would say. From Brenda and the Serial Starter. <laughs> Um, I think it must be our name because, you know, we both like to start things. Knots and Roses pin cushion. Another one from her. Look at that. I might change up the background color, but, ooh. Okay, this is one that Nancy stitched, and this is so, so pretty. I love this. And her colors are really gorgeous on it. Um, it's from, I'll, I'll butcher this, Passione Ricamo, Sampler Antico, and it's called The Old Sampler. Just a gorgeous collection of alphabets. I love the funky bee over there. Um, then this one, wow. Okay, I kitted this up at um, Spirit of Cross Stitch. This is Pat Rogers County Collection Hearts and Holly. I still love this thing. This is from 1994. And the cool thing is that I have the unbleached Danish linen 27 count for, it says for Kristen's sampler, but that's what I bought to do this on. And um, I think maybe I even have the green in there as well. I think they sold me all of what I needed to go with that. Then from Patricia Ann Designs, I have a secret garden. That's very pretty, you think? Mm -hmm. That is one that I think I'm going to be okay letting go. Katie's going, yes! Mom's giving something away. For every 50, she gives one away. <laughs> um, this one is Peaceful Pursuit from, um, actually, maybe that's the name of the designer. I was waiting for Peaceful. Actually, I think I'll keep the secret garden. It's Carnations, uh, designed by Julie Summer of Peaceful Pursuit. This is one that I'm going to go ahead and put in to pass on, but that's really sweet. And then, oh my goodness. I really like this because it has all the cool reindeer, but it comes in a book, you guys. A book. Oh, it's because they have really big examples of they the specialty do. stitches. There's the chart, finally. Yeah, I think you part skipped. of it. Yeah. So this is the winter spruce sampler. And look at all those fabulous reindeer. I like that. You're not going to let me put that one in. So uh, I'm not even going to try. The binder won't let you put that oh, in. Oh, that's a whip. <laughs> then French woolen. Have you bought this one recently? I have not. So Nancy stitched this one. This is Plum Street. We're up to the peas. Okay, and I need to get this what one going. This is so fun. This is Boris and Olga. And I want to do them on one piece of fabric. Have them, I don't know if I'll have them face each other or face away from each other. It might be easier to face away. It looks like you already have stuff in there to maybe... I do, to do it together. Yeah. Um, then, mm, I love this too. Salem Sisters 3. Oh, I think I have that in my cart as I, like, I wanted to buy that. I told you, I kept trying to tell you that I thought I had it. Well, this is different. 
than what I just bought. Um, they're Salem Sisters 1, 2, and 3. Yep. But okay. I haven't bought any of them. Then I really love this guy. This is Sergey. And then this one, this one cracked me up. It's called 13 Owls, and it says, 13 owls in a haunted tree all stared down, so it daunted me. One laughed out, whoo, there she be. So they all joined together, and they taunted me. I just think that's funny. And look at those owls down at the bottom. Paulette has a great sense of humor. Then this is one that Nancy did on the funkiest fabric ever, and it came out looking really cute. Um, since Katie's doing that, I will go ahead and like whip these out of here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there's like a board in here. I can get rid of that, yes? Yeah, I think that's fine. You're putting them in page protectors. They'll be okay. Yeah. So this one that Nancy did on the funky fabric is Victor and Irina. And she's made her notes on the back what she did to substitute to fit her fabric. But look how cool they are. Okay, there's that. That is the end of that bag. Let's go to another one. Where are we with this? Hello. 27 minutes. That's actually a pretty good Stopping time to point. stop. Okay. So I think we will stop with that one. Wait, and fill the whole binder in this one. Oh. And moved on to another one. So guess what? The next one will start with Prairie Moon. Mm. Come back. See you tomorrow.